This is Steve from Boxing UK. Always a joy to be joined by Dave Allen. Dave, it's been a while, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, Steve. Thank you, mate. All good. Good man. Um, very quickly, what have you been up to since you announced your retirement, Dave? Um, bit of this, bit of that. You know, it's just doing, just uh, making a living now. Um, training some amateur boxers, training a pro fighter as well, managing a, a, another pro fighter. So, working with four boxers. Um, that's why it is, Steve. Just, just ticking over, getting by. It's all good. Yes, yeah, saw some photographs of Josh Sandlin the other day, looking in yeah. pretty good, Nick. Yeah, working with Josh for a while now. He came to me and he wanted to retire, and I said, um, I said retire by all means, but you know, you're not even, you're not even scratch the surface of what you can do. So we sat down and said, look, I'll do everything for you. All you got to do is put the work in. So I trained and managed Josh. He's gone from 18 stone to 14 stone. I think he'll box. I think he'll. Well, his next fight will be early June. He'll box at 13 and a half stone then, and we'll plan on going down to light heavyweight, maybe super middleweight. And I think, I think he can do well at that weight. So, you know, it's a it's a it's a long process, but me and him are good friends, and um, I said that I'd, I'd back him all the way, and that's what we're doing. So, it's a it's it's a fun journey to be on. You know, it's great. I used to be a sparring partner of mine a few years ago, and now. And now we're working together. It's a bit like Hay and Cesaro, apart from about 100 levels less. But uh, but no, I'm really enjoying working with a good man. Good man. Any possible date where you might get one of your lads out, Dave, where we can see you in the corner? Hoping Josh will box the first week of June. Not it's not 100, percent but I'm told that it's it's, it's, it's happening. Aye. But until until that is until he's in the ring, I don't take anything for 100 percent fact. So. Hopefully in June, I've got Levi Kinsiano, who I don't train, but I manage. We're just waiting, waiting for anything. He's ready for anyone. And then I've trained some amateur fighters as well, and we're just waiting for the season to start back for amateur boxing to come back. So, very excited for that as well. Good man. Dave, can we go straight to the action from last night? Of course, mate, of course. Yeah. Dillian White, knocking out Pebekin in four rounds. What did you make of it? How good was Dillian? And how much do you think Pebekin had faded? I thought Dylan White did everything right, you know. Dylan White, there's no, there's no wrong from him at all. He was a good performance. He got behind the job. Uh, he didn't really take anything back in return from Pavetkin. So I thought Dylan White really put a, put a great performance on. He did what he had to do, you know. Last night was a wasn't really a winning that situation for him, you know. He beats Pavetkin. Pavetkin is old. He's shot. His legs have gone. His balance have gone. So he, he had to win. You know, there's not really much to the game from him apart from you know get his WBC manager position back. You know, put the Povetkin star to bed, but you know, there was a lot of pressure on him, and I thought he performed great and got the job done. And where does he go from here? Do you think, Dave? Because Eddie Hearn was already talking of Wilder post fight. Yeah. Is, is that a wise move? Do you think? Well, the two fights I'd like to see is the Wilder fight and the Ruiz fight. I think the Ruiz, I think the Ruiz White fight is is one of the best fighters in the heavyweight division to make. I think it'd be, I think it'd be a very exciting fight. The Wilder fight again is a huge fight. Don't say Wilder's a Superstar name in boxing, really. I seem to say that possible possible talks to Trevor Bryan, which is which is a which is a not a bigger fight as, as the other two, but you know it gets pickled WBA regular title and keep him ticking over and you know, while, while he waits for a Fury or Joshua, which which I fear he may be waiting uh, a rather long time for. Yeah, you you skipped a question there, Dave. So I'll just I'll just scroll my notes down a bit. <laughs> I saw you on the JD live yesterday with Derek and Shannon. Yeah, and. Derek repeated something that you've already said about being absolutely certain that Fury Joshua doesn't happen this year. Just your thoughts behind that? Why do you think it doesn't happen? I don't. I just don't think we'll see the fight. You know, I don't think either. I don't think either man. Well, I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. But obviously, I'm not in the know at all. I don't know a thing. But uh, no, no, just something. Just something tells me that not happen. But I didn't think that may over McGregor would happen. I think that was a didn't think it was up. Not put one percent chance that happened and it did so. I don't know. I'm not in the know, but just just a feeling that I get that, that it won't happen. But um but on that, on that note, this is our note, Josh Sandlin will also be going to spar Josie Parker. Um right. for the Cesaro fight. Yeah, that that has been arranged. So that's another little bit of news. So I'm excited about that as well. You'll be going over to Dublin. Uh I believe we're going to be in the northwest. Right, because Joseph Parker's over in Dublin at the minute, isn't he? So, 
I believe he's I believe he is until next week. Right. Great stuff. Um, I have to talk about Nick Webb, Dave. And I've, yeah. it's a good job you're not on Twitter, mate, because it lit up again last night. Um, first of all, what did you think of Nick Webb's performance? And then, like well, I say, it, it lit up that we Webb Allen 2. Would you go well, for be, be, Before watching the fight, I was happy for Nick. I thought Fife would win. Fife was a good amateur. Fife, clearly, he's finished. Clearly, he's an old man and he's left all his best work in the amateur game. He was a good fighter. He looked shot to pieces last night. Um, but I was happy for Nick. I was over the moon for him. He deserved it. He's had some very hard times to defeat to me. And then lost to Sokolovsky. He's gone through some hard times. I was really happy for him. Anyway, so I'm sat there watching the post-fight interview and I thought, that same thing. Him and Scott Welsh were like, oh, we was injured for the Allen fight. We had short notice. And I was sat there thinking, when I boxed Nick Webb, I had about six days, six days before he was when I took the fight, six days. Four weeks prior to concussion, and I couldn't say I one eye for a few weeks from the Oka fight. I, sh- I shouldn't have never boxed Nick Webb, to be honest. How I medically got cleared to find Nick Webb is still a mystery to me. So I'm watching it thinking they're showing a, a clear, just a lack of respect, really. Every fight I've ever lost, you know, if, even some of them I think, oh, well, I could have done this or I could have done that. This wasn't, I wasn't 100% for this, but you know what? They beat me. And I always say, you know what? I lost five times to five better men. I just thought, a bit deluded and it, and it irritated me, it irked me a little bit. So, Nate Webb's not very good. He's my second best win, arguably. But don't mean he's not, he's not that good. He's an English level heavyweight, title heavyweight, which is not which is not a bad level to be at, but it's what he is. And I'll flatten him, I'll flatten him tomorrow. I ain't trained for six months, I'll flatten him tomorrow. He couldn't beat me in a fight, in any situation, in any scenario at all. But I genuinely am happily retired, <laughs> you know. So, if Eddie came up with a bag full of money, he's going to find Nick Webb in six weeks' time. I'll say, yeah, sound dead. I'll get off the city and beat him. So I could beat him tomorrow. I heard you say yesterday that you never say never. Is there just a tiny bit of the fire burning, Dave? Yeah, not really, mate. No, not really. I, not at all. Um, the big offer comes up. Like, the offer comes up with the amount of money where it's like, you know what? I can really set myself up you know, for the next 10 years of my life. And of course I'm going to do it. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to chase it. You know, I saw Nick Webb last night. I saw Fabio Wardley last night. And I thought, I've changed one of them already. And I thought, Wardley, they ain't that good. And I'm not saying I was the greatest fighter in the world. I wouldn't, but they're not that fucking good either, to be honest. You know? So I do watch it. And I think I'm only 28. I'm five years younger than Nick Webb. I'm 29, actually, sorry, last week. But I, I look at it, I just think, yeah, I, I could come back. If I train for six weeks, there's only two or three people, only, well, there's only six, seven everyweights in Britain. I wouldn't I wouldn't be favourite of beating in my own mind. So, yeah, of course, sometimes I sit there and think, but I also think I've been and done it. I've took a lot of, I took a lot of stick and a lot of unneeded stick from sparring, a lot of unneeded stick from being out of shape. And I think, Fuck it. I'm, you know what? It's not that I don't want to fight because I love to fight and I'll be sparring again soon. Very soon, in fact. I've got some sparring lined up. But I'm not going to say what obviously you probably work it out from who's just sparring. But, so I miss the fighting, but I don't miss the fucking bullshit. I don't miss the being lied to. I don't miss the, you're going to get this, but you'll end up with half of it or a quarter of it when it comes down to it. Or you're going to box on this show. No, you're not. That's how boxing works. That's no one's fault. But when you got when you've got a mind like me and 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 issue and problems I've got, it's not very good for your mindset to, to to do boxing. Boxing wasn't good for me. It was in lots of ways. It kept me out. It kept me out of a lot of trouble as a younger kid. But as I got older, I just thought, fuck this. Don't need it no more. One thing that you are still, Dave, and this isn't blown smoke up your backside, but you know this. You are well loved by a certain percentage of the boxing fraternity and a lot of them would be worried if you came back yeah because of the reasons that you said about packing in in the first place you know with the yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're comfortable with the decision mate that's, that's I suppose the roundabout way that I'm asking yeah I'm completely fine if I, if I wanted to box again I would box again yeah. I'm medically cleared to fight I could fight I could fight literally in a couple of weeks time get a license pass some medicals I could box as easy as that I don't, I'm not like, I don't feel, um, 
I don't feel like I'm, I, you know, when I retired, I wasn't physically sharp. I'm probably in my physical prime in terms of what I can lift and in terms of my strength, everything. You know, I'm, I'm reached my physical peak. But oh, my confidence was shot to pieces. Pavel Sauer last night fighting Nathan Gorman. I knocked him back for the November 21st show because I had no confidence of eating him. My confidence was gone. I don't think I don't think I'm physically shot, but my confidence and my mental, my mental, I was just gone. And 24 month failure, not even that 12 month failure. I'd have thought anybody in the world at any notice anywhere. I've always been that same kid from being from being 12 years old in the fucking playground to being 26 in the boxing ring. I'd have fought any fucker for nothing, for, for, for anything. And it, and it had gone. And, um, you know what, I, I saw on the last night, I thought, I'd love to fucking fill you in. But the fire weren't burning like it would have been 12, 18 months ago. So, you know, I'm, I'm still happy with my choice. And, and unless the big money turns up and that hunger comes back, and it's an and, it's not either or, I want to do it for the money because I've got more pride than getting beat for money. So if the money and, and the hunger comes back, then I'll box again. But as of right now, being totally honest, I'm not really sure it has. Good man. Dave, I promised we'd be quick. Lovely to speak to you. Hope we get more time soon. I appreciate that, Steve. Thank you very much, you. We see you in a corner. Most important Thanks thing, lot, mate. look after yourself. Will do, you too. Speak Keep to you soon. Dave. Thank you.